UC women's basketball bringing a four-game win streak into Saturday's game against ECU at St. Ursula Academy. The team coming off an 18-point victory at SMU. You know, and we've been playing in a moment. You know, we've just been taking it one practice at a time, one game at a time. You know, we're playing a familiar opponent. We play ECU in our first game of the conference uh, this year. So, you know, we have some familiarity. It was a tough, tough matchup, a grind-out game, a physical game. Um, obviously, Nakira went down with her ankle injury that game, and I'm looking forward to having her back on the floor against them tomorrow. You know, having Nakira out there, especially against a team that played zone like SMU did for the majority of the game, it was just good to have her be a threat. And they, their SMU use team knowing that she was going to shoot the three. I think she went one for four. I think she made one, but just having her presence out there means a lot. Um, she was able to play, I think, 11 minutes a game. Hopefully she can play a little more tomorrow, but it's just going to be a feel. You know, there's so many players that we have coming off the bench that can produce for us. Um, hopefully Nakira will play well and coming off the bench playing well, Genesis. So, you know, that's the fun part of our games. You never know who's going to be um, that spark off the bench, and it's always one or two, sometimes three or four. So that's the exciting part, and I'm looking forward to seeing who it is tomorrow night. Got that answer that Miller had uh, quite possibly her best game of the season. Uh, I know she scored more points in other games, but she just seemed to make the big shots when you needed them. Had some big stops on defense, and, and she's one of several players who really seemed to step up. Yeah, I think I got the most excited when she made her two threes in the game. You know, she had promised me one in the game before she didn't come through, so she made up for it in this game uh, by making two. But, you know, it just adds to confidence. You know, when you knock one down in the game, especially at a crunch time in the game, hopefully that's going to help her understand that. If she has her feet set under her, she has rhythm, you know, don't let teams just play off you you know step behind that three-point line and knock them down on has been great just managing the game for us you know knowing when to push tempo when we need to run offense to get change sides of the floor a couple times to get a good possession when to shoot the ball when to pass the ball when she needs to get others involved so you know it's just been really fun having her evolve her senior year as a point guard and doing so many things and then you mentioned Shanice I thought last game against SMU that was her biggest game in a very long time consistent for wise as far as the stat sheets same thing I thought she made good decisions when to shoot when to pass when she penetrates she's going to grow draw contact uh, a lot of uh, players around her. So she's doing understanding. She's doing her job, kick it, and now our guards will knock down open threes for her. Well, they're going to come out and play hard for 40 minutes. They're aggressive. They attack you. They're going to trap you. They're going to switch it up from man to zone. They're going to trap you in the corner. They may trap you on the wings. But they're going to keep playing hard for 40 minutes no matter what the score is. So we got to understand that, you know, like I mentioned all the time, there's games that we may have to grind it out. You know, if our shot's not falling, things not going our way on offense, you know, we showed in SMU's game that our defense is good enough to win games for us. So we'll see what tomorrow game's turned out to be. You know, whatever it is, we, I think we'll be ready because we've shown that we can do both. We can score guy, outscore teams, and we can grind it out and play defense for 40 minutes and make the baskets we need to make down the stretch to win the basketball game. The Bearcats go for five in a row on Saturday as they take on ECU at St. Ursula Academy. Tip-off is set for 2 o'clock. We'll be on the air at 145 on GoBearcats.com. Reporting for GoBearcats.com, this is Matt Noonan.